world that my friend he let me go into. So um, we have some tiny modern houses that look absolutely insane. Like I would never be able to build this. Um, it's currently blocked off because he doesn't want anybody going in. But uh, let me just. There's not a lot in here, but let me just break that glass and take a look. We have some red carpet. I did that myself. And uh, we kept this cyan stained clay up here because the style of this house, it's dark and white, like light at the same time. So I wanted to incorporate something that was in between of the two. So I chose the red and I didn't want to, you know, double it on the second floor so I just chose to uh do the plain science and clay I'll I will probably change it sometime but let's move on to the next house uh, here we have a much bigger bigger uh, house here let's just take a peek inside we have some uh, cyan stain uh, rug in here and up here we just have the regular white like I said in the last house the colors are dark and light those colors usually mix really well uh, especially uh, quartz and spruce and or dark oak wood especially the cyan stain clay it's perfect too uh, what my friend he likes to do, he likes to put these little gardens on top of here. You know, let me just trim it. And on the sides, let me just find one on here. Now oh, we have one right over here. It's going around the house. And we have one over here. Alright, and we have one last house that I am completely impressed with. This amazing, like, mansion type thing. So, I'm going to take a look at the backyard first. Uh, it's not finished yet. We have a nice hot tub. You can see the uh, smoke. A nice, nice lit pool. Uh, he forgot to make the world deeper, so we have bedrock at the bottom. We need to change that. Uh, we haven't finished uh, the whole backyard yet, but it's not going to be like super sophisticated I think he just wants to do like you know a pool and then like a tiny garden slash jacuzzi area I love jacuzzis all right into the interior uh, as you guys know I am an interior designer uh, I designed almost all the interior uh, this fireplace I didn't do and the chandelier I did not do uh, well, let's talk about the chandelier real quick this is an amazing chandelier. He used packed ice cause, and the blue pane, light blue and cyan stain panes, because those colors just really stand out. And then he used the sea lanterns. And everywhere else, we kind of have glowstone chandeliers. It's kind of um, like mismatched a little bit. Because, like, you know, glowstone and the sea lanterns, it just doesn't mix. We also have a very nice fireplace. We're thinking about adding a TV up here. Uh, in my last videos, I showed you guys how to turn, uh, make a working TV. We have a, a bookshelf that doesn't have books on it right now, because Radiac, he does not like to read. <laughs> uh, we also have a nice couch, a little footrest over here. And we have this awesome waterfall under the stairs. Now we're going to move on to the second floor. It's We haven't really worked on the second floor yet, but we have the same chandeliers from the floor, uh, the first floor. We have a very impressive staircase. Uh, he used the uh, panes, well I used the panes, to make it like a border, but like a nice border, because some people usually use just like gates and all that stuff, and it's just ugly. Moving on to the last floor, let me just change this to clear. 
Moving on to the last floor. This is the gate. Oh. What, um. What? Wait. Um. What are you doing? Uh. What are you doing here? I. I was um. T touring the house. Uh. Okay. Did I leave the doors open? Uh. I didn't see any doors. This must be, like, really embarrassing for you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. Now that you've met our good old buddy, Radiac Skills. There's a reason why his name Hello. is Skills. <laughs> he built this, this whole exterior of the house and all the other houses. But finally, to the game room. He built this by himself. Uh, very impressive. He built his own pool table. I built the uh, ceiling fans. Uh, all I really need to do is get a fence, a glowstone, and then iron or uh, wooden trap doors. I prefer iron because, you know, nobody wants a wooden ceiling fan. You know what? Some people do want a ceiling, wooden ceiling fans. But, anyway, let's go. Now that we've explained the uh, interior of the uh, house. Let's get to the exterior of this house. What we have here is a dark light house with some red in it. Uh, usually bricks are super ugly colors, but this this house just really makes it work. Especially with the way he put the roof and the floor, and it's just not all bricks. Like, he has a nice, even variety of blocks. Um, I also love that he had a depth to this house. A lot of houses that I visit, he they don't have a lot of depth. They're just, you know, the old four walls and a roof really flat roof this one like really like it's just mind blowing like the way he uses the uh slabs and everything is just awesome radiac we need to give you like a pat on the back oh. like pat on the back Yay. <laughs> you are, like, awesome at building. Thank you. But, anyway, guys, uh, we're going to do one last tour while Radiac is doing something. Uh, what are you doing? I'm making a tree. A tree. Outside. A tree outside. Okay. Uh, we're going to do one last quick tour of the world. We have these two modern houses, and we have this super awesome mansion type thing over here. Anyway, guys, that's the uh, end of our video. So, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.